Hello everyone, Accentor here, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today I'm here to give you all of the latest Infinite Flight news about the upcoming 20.2 update, guys. So many of you don't know what 20.2 means, it basically means it's the second update of 2020. Coming in that update, we know we'll see the 777-300 ER variants. Now there's a little conspiracy theory that I've got that I've picked up from Twitter, so I'll show you guys that at the end. But let's go through chronological order of the Infinite Flight news that has been released about the 20.2 update. So the first bit of news we got was about the 777-300 and that was a picture of the fuselage in some sort of rendering. I'm not quite sure how the development world works but it was some sort of rendering. And what Infinite Flight said was the next variant to be released in our Boeing 777 family rework will be the 777-300 DR. Here's the early rendering of the additional fuselage sections from where work begun. So as you can see, they've already begun work on that. And then the next thing we got shown is we're hard at work on the Boeing 777-W or 77W as they wrote. Um, in this work in progress, you can see um, a high and low poly version of the new gear chassis. This forms part of the semi-lever gear system on the 777. So that's actually really, really cool. So we can just see how the gear comes down and that's what comes, brings the gear down. And then the next bit we get is, here's the first rendering of our new Bones 777W with the additional fuselage sections in place. So as you can see in the image, so everything blue is something new added. I'm not sure if you can see, but on the gear, there's the blue bit with the gear chassis, which is the new. And then we got the blue fuselage in the middle, which is the new, uh, newly added on bit. The nose and the rear end of the aircraft are already from the other 777 variants that they have, or the 200 ER, which we already know has been um, reworked, which came out in the 20.1 or the first update of the year. And then the very last bit we have, or the most recent bit, there'll, there'll probably be another bit out within the next few days, I think. Um, but this is a low poly render of the 777W. Um, the whip shows the complex internal structure of the aircraft. We've added a splash of colour on the outside. So we already have this livery in Infinite Flight, people. This is not a new livery. We, like Every livery is getting reworked, basically. But I'm fairly sure this is the KLM Orange Pride. We already have that livery. What I do like about it, though, is you can see the landing lights. Now, currently on Infinite Flight, the landing lights are like a a floating splodge of white near the wing. This looks like the landing lights will actually be on the aircraft, which is brilliant. And as we can see the internal structure, we have the cabin and how it's all properly designed and the, the cargo bit below and the overhead storage compartments. It looks really, really cool. But let's head over to Twitter, shall we, for the bit of news you're all here for now. So I was scrolling through my Twitter earlier this morning or about 20 minutes ago, which is a more realistic way. And there was a post from Laura. Okay, and this is rather, rather interesting. So like I said, this is not confirmed, but Laura said, quick test flight to Vienna this morning. And she showed her flight plan going to Vienna. Okay, fair enough. But everyone wanted to know what aircraft she was in. And thankfully, someone in the reply section showed us what aircraft Laura was flying going from Munich to Austria or Vienna. And she was in a Boeing 777-200 freight. Now, remember guys, we just got a Boeing 777-200 ER rework and the freight is basically, it's the same aircraft, but there's just no windows and it's all cargo. So this could mean that they have actually been working because InfoFly have more than one development team. So they could have been working on the freight version now and it just it would have been finished so much quicker. And it does sound about right within just a month and a half, the freight version is already complete and it's already into testing. So they've already got one thing ready for the update. It's probably an alpha testing or something. This is if it's confirmed. Okay everyone, Ed to Terex and Dora here quickly. So I was just eating some food and someone sent me something on Instagram. And here is Laura's actual story. Now this pretty much confirms it's coming to Infinite Flight. Because you can see a live cockpit here in the 200 freight version guys. So keep an eye out for that because I'm fairly sure we're going to be getting a 200 freight version coming to Infinite Flight soon. So, 
um, I'm going to cut back to the rest of the video then. So guys, keep your eyes peeled for any moderators in the 777-200 freight version of the aircraft. But, I mean, you never know. But, I'm um, the only reason I could think is why she put Chris to quick test flight is because, so she does have a PC version which is for development only, not for public use. And I'm not too sure what else she would be testing or why would Laura write quick test flight to VM this morning? If anyone has any brighter ideas other than the fact we may be getting 777-200 freight rework, rework which is 100% logical in my mind because we've already had the 200ER rework, why not just shut the windows and stick on a cabin door? I know it's not that easy but that would seem very logical to me. So let me know what you all think down below. Other than that, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. If you're still here, let me know in the comment section, just be like, yeah, I'm still here at five and a half minutes. Rather curious as always. Um, also, if you're new, please subscribe, it would mean so much to me. Other than that, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Good night.